Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and in this video we're going to do a speed test comparing the new fourth generation iPod Touch to the Apple iPhone 4. Of course the iPod Touch is on the right and the iPhone is on the left. Both have very similar specs. They both have the same 1 GHz processor, Apple A4 processor. However, the iPod only has 256 megabytes of RAM, while the iPhone 4 has 512 megabytes. So for my first test, we're just going to boot these up. They're both off right now. So obviously the iPod is the winner here. For my next test, I'm gonna use the speed test app to test the Wi-Fi speed. I've gone ahead and shut down all the Wi-Fi devices in the house except for these two. So there is uh, no interference. And I'm gonna run the tests, not side by side, but one at a time. If I run them at, at the same time, they will interfere with each other's bandwidth. So let's start with the iPhone 4. Okay, now let's do the iPod. So it looks like the iPod won by a fairly substantial margin. Uh, of course, this fluctuates, so we're going to run three tests in total. So let's do test number two. So now in the second test, it looks like the iPhone 4 recovered a bit, but the iPod still seems to be slightly ahead, at least on the download speed. Let's run the second test on the iPod. Once again, the iPod is slightly faster. Let's run the third test. So in these three tests, we can see that the download speed was slightly faster on the iPod Touch, consistently faster on the iPod Touch, and the upload speed was about the same. So for my next test, we're going to launch Safari. It appeared to be about the same. Let's go to a bookmark. So let's go to Mac Rumors. with the Daring Fireball. So we're about the same, and again, they're sharing the same network, so they're robbing each other's bandwidth, so it's not an accurate test, but you can see that the browser itself is pretty quick on both. Now let's launch YouTube. About the same, go to New Videos. So let's go to My Videos. Let's go to my latest. Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and I've discovered something interesting. So they're about the same as well. Let's launch iMovie. So they're about the same. iBooks. Again, about the same. Let's launch the weather. Oh, the iPhone 4 crashed. That's interesting. So it looks like the maps on the iPhone 4 rendered a little more smoothly than the iPod, but again, it's very minor, and this could be a limitation of the RAM on the iPod Touch. Now let's launch some games. We're going to start with Game Center. 
They seem to load about the same. Maybe the iPhone's a little faster. Let's try gun range. Again, the iPhone 4 seemed a little faster. So the, again, the iPhone 4 is a little faster loading the game. Now let's go to Angry Birds. Once again, the iPhone 4 loaded faster. So they load about the same. The iPhone 4 seems to be slightly faster. Now let's try Peggle. Again, the iPhone 4 was slightly faster. It's already ready to play. Again, iPhone 4 is faster. Now let's launch Avatar. Again, iPhone 4 faster. Now we can see the iPod crash, and we probably can thank the uh, 256 megabytes of RAM for that. There isn't as much RAM on here to support all the games that I just suspended, uh, and the iPhone 4 can do that. Now let's try app switching. I'm going to double tap the home key to bring up the app switcher. And let's try launching gun range. Again, the iPhone 4 is faster. Now let's jump to Peggle iPhone 4 was faster and, and the iPod stuttered. Let's go to Angry Birds. Well, that's interesting. It looks like the iPod suspended it properly while the iPhone 4 didn't. Let's go to Game Center. And that's about equal. Let's go to Tweet Deck. Now let's go to Twitter. Again, iPhone 4 is a little faster. Now let's launch the camera app. Looks like the iPod launched slightly faster. On the iPhone, I'm going to turn off HDR, and I'm going to turn off the flash. These are features the iPod doesn't have. Now keep in mind the iPhone 4 has a 5 megapixel camera with auto focusing, while the iPod Touch has a fixed focus lens with only a 0.7 megapixel sensor. So what I want to do now is see how quickly the shutter is on the iPod versus the iPhone. Of course, I'm going to be taking pictures of nothing, but let's go ahead and show you. Now, as you can see with the uh, iPod, I can take them pretty fast. See, look at that. Versus the iPhone. I'm going to pick it up. We're going to take more photos of nothing. So it's very fast, but of course it's lower quality. And here's the iPhone 4. It wants to focus. It wants to do a lot more metering than the iPod. Of course, when you're taking higher quality pictures, there is more data to process and save. So naturally, it's going to be a little slower on the iPhone. Now for my final test, I'm going to power these down. Not only is the iPod quicker to boot up, it's also quicker to shut down. So in conclusion, it does look like the iPhone 4 is slightly faster than the iPod Touch, but the difference is pretty small. However, with only 256 megabytes of RAM, it does look like the iPod Touch is more likely to crash on you than the iPhone 4. However, if you do proper app management by closing all your apps, you should have less trouble. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a quick speed test of the iPhone 4 versus the iPod Touch 4th generation. Thanks for watching.